Hi everyone, I'm Alex from TransUnion. And um, I've been running a workshop about the three ways of DevOps and it's worked so well that I felt compelled to come out here and tell some other people who are really passionate about DevOps all about it so that maybe you can cascade it. Bit of background, bit of an origin story. I've worked in software support and delivery for most of my professional life, so neither dev nor ops, but a bit of both and a load more. So I was struggling with how to make our deliveries more reliable, less onerous with better testing. Um, all I knew is that we were doing it wrong and this is what happened when I mapped it out. So what to do? We'd heard about Octopus Deploy, so I asked around a bit about that internally. Turned out our head of DevOps, yeah, we have one of those, um, was the right person to talk to about this. And uh, so having asked about one tool, um, he stood there and did his boxes and arrows and really, really just brought DevOps to life for me. I realized that what I was looking for was not a tool, but the whole ethos. So DevOps, I haven't been able to stop shouting about it ever since, but something I'm conscious of is I wanted to spread the word to more than just devs and ops, but involve other people as well. Attended loads of local meetups and stuff. The thing that stood out to me most was the three ways. Not just that you know they're fascinating in the context of DevOps, but it's good sense and that simplicity um, makes it really applicable to lots of other things. Lots of space for um, creative thinking. So we got the chance to speak at uh, Leeds DevOps uh, and we wanted to talk about culture because that was something that people weren't talking about so much at the time. Everyone was talking more about tools. So we did a bit of a naval gazing exercise and we looked in our own company and the wider community, found that um, though we're obsessed with tools, really good at tools, we weren't really talking about culture. We weren't necessarily sticking with the reasons we got into DevOps. Um, in fact, what we needed to do was um, stop working in silos so much. So we wanted to break out of that comfort zone and um, engage other colleagues, not just DevOps, in the DevOps goodness and the passion. So I got my chance, um, the lead testing atelier. Um, I just thought this is brilliant. This is an opportunity to rope these awesome test professionals into the DevOps goodness. and. Um, really get their take on it, run a bit of a workshop with them perhaps. So, what is DevOps without test? What are we increasing the flow of without test? So, <laughs> this workshop was born and initially I called it Testing is DevOps. So, I wasn't really sure where to start with the talk. Um, so, I made some intro slides for it and just about the magic of DevOps, a um, bit of calms. But all the time I was trying to find a way to explain the three ways in a way that would really engender that sort of creative thinking and get people to look at what they're doing every day. When I found appropriate images for the three ways, um, I realized that it's not just three underpinning principles, but it could be three different personalities looking at the same thing in three different ways and comparing notes. I thought this might be the hook that would get the audience into this. So, unholy trinity, gods, reporters and geniuses. The first way, the gods can see the entire system, good and bad, and seek to improve it. The second way, reporters. They're driven to dig out the truth and report it to the right people. And geniuses, they're absolutely compelled to experiment and learn constantly. So, the talk that I gave at the beginning of the workshop was really simple. It just went through the DevOps problem, <laughs> um, explained why DevOps came about, a bit of calms, and a bit of the story that, uh, from us at TransUnion. Um, then it was time to talk about the three ways. So, I just explained to the participants that um, we'd be looking at the three different ways. And that though you need all three, just for this, we, they needed to pick the personality that appealed to them most and just concentrate on that. So they divided themselves up pretty evenly between the three personalities. And I asked them not to get too hung up on the detail, but just let the ideas flow. And they came up with such amazing things. Um, as you can see, they actually, the gods even split themselves up into evil and good. Um, and I've run this with several of the groups since, um, including IT, security, architects, sales. Um, and I think it could work with others as well. Um, without fail, 
they were really engaged by this. And uh, not only did they come up with these amazing ideas, I also found that later into the evening, they were still talking about themselves as gods, reporters, and geniuses, really enjoying these new personalities. So please, download the materials, have a go, spread the word, and let us know how you get on. Thank you.